grew up uh, in a small country town called Kerrang. It's uh, northern Victoria, a uh, very small population, on a dairy farm uh, with my, my brothers and my sister, mum and dad. And uh, it's been great to be able to just come back to where I grew up, go back to the farm and cut some laps on the track that I grew up riding. Uh, some of the jumps I actually learned how to whip on. Going back to Murrabit Primary where I grew up, going to school, it's really nice. Uh, it's something you know I haven't really done a lot of, going and talking to the kids, uh, the new you know the new era of kids that maybe don't have a, a career path yet or, or a choice where they want to go, and it, it is unique to be able to speak to them. Um, it's one of those things I've never really done any kind of you know motivational stand-up talks at all, and how many years I've been doing this for. It was crazy to be actually, for the first time, to go back to the school that I first went to and actually stand up in front of the class like guys did back in the day, like football players would come by and things like that, which, you know, football and all these sports, they're all team sports. And to be able to come back as a, as a motocross rider and talk to these kids about an individual sport uh, is awesome. Like. I couldn't imagine, you know, in my day, being at school and having a motocross rider or somebody of uh, an individual sport uh, come by the school and, you know, say, hey, like, I grew up at this school and to be able to express to the kids, like, you know, this is where I went to school and show them that I went there, you know, pull out some school photos and things like that that they still had there was crazy. It's like, I feel like, I left there today being able to inspire these kids to maybe to go down a career path where they can do motocross or BMX or skateboarding, some kind of individual sport where they can achieve what they want to and you know obviously they can do it because I've done it. Definitely touched home and it felt really good to, to be able to give back to the community that I grew up in. It's been great to go out to the McDonald farm, uh, hang out with Sam McDonald for a couple of times, and you know he's pushed up a, a big set of jumps out in his old quarry that we went there as kids. Like I remember going there in year three at school. We came out after school one time and we rode our bikes out to this massive big sand pit. And it's funny now coming back years later and Sam's still riding dirt bikes. You know, he's about to head off to China to do some shows and to have Edgar Torrenteres, who's a legend in the sport, uh, him come out, do some riding with me through the week, uh, right before we head off for Nitro Circus, it's cool, you know, it's, it's something that you would always dream of as a kid and now like those dreams are actually becoming a reality, it's amazing. For 2016, uh, now I'm obviously taking on Step Up for the first time. Been sending it back here, you know, been absolutely sending it over the bar. Uh, I feel that if I can, if I can do what I need to do, and I can get, you know, the right traction and the the right body posture to, to get over that bar, and really hope that things pay off for the time I've been spending on the bike between Wyvern and Rigo's Farm. Along with competing in Step Up, uh, I'm really looking forward to going back uh, to Best Whip this year and defending my gold medal from last year. Uh, There's going to be some tough competition, but hopefully I can bring home a gold. doing what I have to do through the week. I think it, I get a better vibe and a better feeling going into X Games. It just motivates me to do well and makes me proud to be an Australian and to be able to come home and practice here leading into X Games, I, I couldn't ask for any better way.